Hi everyone, this is Lee. If you want to start game development in Unity, here are the top 5 tips I learned from my game development journey. I believe these tips will make your game development faster and easier. Let's get started. Before we start, don't forget to click the subscribe button and turn on the bell, as I will share more tips about game development in Unity. Make sure you don't miss it. Tip number one, start your first game small. This one is really important, especially when you just start making your game. Yes, you may want to put a lot of features and mechanics in your game, because that's probably the game should look like in your dream. And some people may tell you making a game is easier than you think. Building your own games is easier than you think. Okay, I don't know what he's talking about. The fact is, making a game is more complicated than you think. You have to know how to play in the game, making prototype, adding features and mechanics to keep the game interesting. None of this can be mastered in short time. But don't let them scare you away, as you can pick up all these knowledge gradually. Just go easy on yourself at the beginning. Some people would suggest you finish your first game in two months, second one in six months, and the third one in one year. But I have to say it really depends. If you are an experienced developer, you may want to start something bigger than that, as long as you feel comfortable to control the scale of the game. But always keep it in mind that start something small is a really good idea for a beginner. Tip number two, start learning Unity. Now you need to start learning Unity. There are many resources online. I have to say, use all of them as much as possible. The first step is to understand some basics, like game development concept and get familiar with Unity Editor. Then you can try to watch some tutorials on YouTube and Unity website. But one thing I would like to mention is that only choose the tutorial which is useful for you and try your best to digest them. For example, if you're working on an FPS game, just watch all the tutorials relate to this topic. Don't waste your time on tons of tutorials and try to understand all of them at the same time. And remember, no matter how much you learn from the tutorial, you really need to create something yourself. Even follow the tutorial step by step rather than just watching it. Tip number three, prototype. Once you feel comfortable to start making your first game, don't dive into the details straight away. You need to build a prototype first and make sure the game you are going to create is achievable without any technical issue. And the core mechanic is fine enough to keep the game being interesting. Now everything is ready, I will show you another two tips to create your indie game faster and easier. Please stay tuned all the way to the end. Tip number four, don't try to make everything yourself. I personally believe this tip may be the most important one for the beginner. As you start making an indie game, you may want to create something really unique, special, or something people haven't seen it before. Then you decide to build the game from the scratch. Many people even want to start with building the game engine. Yes, you try to make everything yourself, it sounds cool, but sooner or later, you will realize that creating a game from scratch is almost impossible for a beginner because you need to know a lot of stuff like building 2D or 3D models, animation, audios, particle system, shaders, textures and material, music, sound effects, and so on. Many people outside dedicate themselves for years on one of these areas only. Don't expect you can master all these skills in a very short time. Please don't take me wrong here, I didn't mean you should not learn the knowledge you are not familiar with. All I try to say is in order to master all these skills, you take years of hard working and practicing. Trust me, you certainly don't want to work on a game over 3 or 4 years alone as an indie game developer, as a resource for us is quite limited. Just simply don't go to that path. The other reason is that you will also lose motivation and passion quickly, which is the main reason that most of the indie game developer quit or cannot finish the game at the end. The most realistic way to make your game is to use pre-made assets. You can find many free or sell assets from Unity Store. If you're not good at some area at the moment, don't worry, simply grab the suitable asset from the store and fully use them in your game. Don't let this issue slow you down too much, as keeping your motivation and passion by making progress of the game is more important at this stage. Tip number 5. Start sharing your work and getting feedback. Once you get some work done, try to start sharing it as soon as possible. It could be a playable demo or some short gameplay clips. 
as you need to get the feedback from your audience. There are many places you can publish your game, like HL. You can also start uploading weekly devlog on YouTube, which is a great way to grow your audience as well. The only way to improve your game quickly is to get the feedback. As you'd better get the feedback from other indie game developer, but also the gamer who like the game you are creating. Once you get some subscribers and followers, don't forget to start building your own Discord server. Then all your subscribers and followers can join and discuss your game. These are the top 5 tips for the beginner who want to start game development in Unity. These tips really help me to create the game quickly and efficiently. I hope it works for you as well. I also reviewed some tips for the beginner about how to get your mindset ready in my first 100 subscriber special video. You can find the link from the description below. If you find this video is useful, make sure you click the subscribe button and turn on the bell and then you won't miss the video like this in future. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you next time.